Hello friends and welcome back. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. In today's video I'm sharing a DIY project and hopefully inspiring you with some neutral screen decor items that I'll add to my mantel and hearth today. This video is also a big spring collaboration with some YouTube friends that have similar content to my channel. For easy convenience I've put a link in my description box where you can watch each video in this collaboration back to back. So be sure to give each video a thumbs up, subscribe to their channel if you like their content, and make sure you leave them a comment in their comment section that I sent you. Okay, now that I've showed you a before picture of the mantle, let's get to painting. Now, I had said in my previous video that I was going to maybe possibly paint this mantle black. And then when I got to Lowe's and saw all the different colors of blacks and dark grays, I finally went with just this charcoal color. It kind of pulls gray from the fireplace and it looks black in some moments also, but I'm very happy with what it looks like at the end. It's more of a matte. It's an eggshell paint, I believe, but it dries like a matte finish and I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm going to show some painting scenes here just because I think it's so satisfying to see something turn colors while you're painting it, especially because this was white and now it's going to be like a darker color. So you can really see the gray here in this shot. It is so beautiful up against my fireplace. Next project that I'm going to do is I'm going to have the walls painted. Now I'm not going to attempt to paint my den. There's carpet in here and I just feel like I should really get that, um, hire someone to do that job. But my next step in this living room is to get the walls painted. As I did on my mantle, I would love to get some suggestions on what color you guys think I should go with painting my walls in my living room. Right now they're kind of a, a dark beige color and I think I should go way lighter and, but I'm not real sure what color to paint it. Maybe I should paint just like an eggshell. Maybe I should just go cream in the rest of the living room. But give me your suggestions down below. I know I have some really Really great friends on here that really have some great decor styles of their own and I would love to hear your opinion. Oh and one more thing this did take two coats to cover and I did also paint the bottom of the mantle however I just didn't film that extra painting. Okay, I'm almost done painting this mantle. Let me say real quickly before I start decorating the mantle and decorating the hearth and just to kind of give you a heads up when it comes to all of these new spring decorate videos that I have coming for you guys. I like to decorate with very neutral decor I don't have a lot of color in my home. I do like pastel colors for Easter, but as far as a lot of bright colors for spring, I normally do not decorate that way. I will add like some tulips and some lavender florals, which does add some color to my home. But most of my decor today that you're going to see in the future videos over the next month or two are just going to be very simple, neutral decor pieces. My home is very open when you walk in the front door, so I try to provide decor and things throughout the home that kind of makes all the rooms kind of flow together. I'll have a home tour, a spring home tour, closer to April and that will be a collaboration with my sweet sweet friend Angie. So you'll see in that video how I pretty much decorate throughout my house. You'll see today that my favorite textures to decorate with are like black iron, wicker, and light wood and dark wood. I call my house like a modern farmhouse but I really love that coastal look. I don't really like the seashells and on that side of the coastal vibe but I love the wicker and the white pitchers and the white dishes and the light wood items so I guess I could say I'm kind of coastal modern farmhouse I'll insert a picture right here of kind of the vibe that I just love I love that blue and white and those cream colors together with a little bit of black metal and that blue rug layered with that jute rug it's just so pretty all the rattan and um, woven ropes that are there. I just love that look. I don't like the seashells and the mermaids and all that side of the coastal vibe feel, but I do love this look here in this picture. Let me know in the comment section if you know what style pretty much reflects your home. I can guarantee you before I started YouTube, I did not really have a style to my home. I just went with the flow.
this is your first time visiting my channel I'm so happy to have you again my name is Robin my channel will be two years old at the end of March I'm pretty much a typical homemaking channel I provide lots of cleaning motivation here lots of decorating inspiration however since my husband and I are empty nesters I do offer a little bit different footage than someone would that's still raising their children Hopefully, if you're still watching this video, this means that you're enjoying my content and I would love it if you would take a second before you leave today and hit that red subscribe button. I also have an Instagram account. It's at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on my screen. It's the same as my YouTube channel. I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. It's a really great way for us to get to know each other a little quicker. Okay, now that the mantle is complete, let's work on redecorating the mantle and redecorating the hearth. Okay guys, I've always had these candle holders down here on the hearth, but I thought, I love the wood texture up against this dark gray and this black. I love that combination together. So I thought maybe trying these on the end of both of my ends of my mantle may work. So let me just try this out. Now right now I've got a blue candle inside of here. I may need to go and get like some tall white ones but for right now, I'm gonna leave the blue ones in here. And I even thought about possibly maybe even putting like some greenery around that holder um, to kind of give a little bit more summer look. And I may do that later, but today I don't have anything to go around there. So we're just gonna stick with these blue candles. But first, let's see how I'm gonna lock it with putting one of these on each side of the mantle. Okay, so here's the look so far. Now let's add some decor to the middle. I'm gonna add some books, um, a new clock that I got, and one of my new life plants. Let's start with those and then see how we can fill in the area between these two tall items. And since those are tall, this is how my mind works. I feel like I need to kind of go medium height on my decor, not too tall. Okay, I showed this picture in a previous haul that I wanted to layer on this mirror because I do love the wood tone mixed with the white and the black. So I'm gonna layer it, I think, on this side of the mirror. And I'm gonna try to place it, not all the way over there, but try to layer it in between, let's see here, the mirror and the candle holder, like that. Okay, so here's another angle of the picture layered on my mirror. I think it looks really good. Okay, since I'm starting with my bigger pieces first, I layered it, I layered this artwork there, and then I will kind of even things out with another larger piece on this side. And we'll start with this maybe going right there. Another wood element with some greenery, with some greenery this time, because I think everything needs a touch of greenery. So I believe this wood tone goes really well with my candlesticks and with the frame around that picture. Okay, so now that I have my bigger items in place, let's start filling in the gaps with some smaller decor. Okay, I love the look of some layered books. So let's start, these are gray and white ones, which I think work really well off of the new gray mantle. And we'll kind of tilt, maybe we'll keep those straight. So I love this layered book look. And to, con to, and to bring in some more black out of that picture, I have this black spear from Target. I think it's beautiful. Let's try to just set this right there. So we'll take this in pieces of three is how I like to decorate. So we'll take this as one piece, two pieces, and then three pieces. Okay, and because I feel like every mantle needs a clock, I'm gonna put this white looking chippy clock that I think is so cute. This was also in my decor haul on Wednesday. I'm gonna just kind of place that in the center of the mantle to kind of be more of a center point. Okay, so here's my look so far. I feel like right there between my picture and my candle holder, I need one more item. So I'm gonna use one of the live plants that I've picked up at Lowe's and try to put that there and see if that will complete my mantle look. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted. But looking back, I can see it's all clear. I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me. Anymore. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it hurts. Okay, 
Okay, now that the mail's done, let's start working on this hearth. I don't know why, guys, but this hearth is always so hard for me to decorate. So I'm gonna bring in some new lanterns and fill my basket with a blanket and a pillow and fill up my blanket ladder there. And let's see if we can complete this look. Okay guys, inside this lantern, all that I've done is taken one of those fake candles, battery operated candles, and put a lamb's ear wreath around that candle, just to kind of give this lantern a little bit more character. And now to bring in some more white and blue, I'm gonna add this really pretty blanket and just a simple white pillow. And I think I might even go get some greenery in the, out of the back and maybe put some greenery through here. That always livens up something also. So let me go try that. I have this stem that kind of drapes over, so I think this would be perfect to add just right here. Okay, there, not too much, but just a touch of granary sometimes can really just complete a look that you're going for, and I think that did it right there. Okay, I'm gonna keep it very simple over here on my blanket letter also. I'm gonna add this gorgeous blanket that my son Jonathan gave me for Christmas. I think it is just beautiful. It has an L on it, and it happens to be in gray, so I'm gonna add that right here to my blanket ladder. Guys, I so hope you enjoyed this simple fireplace makeover. If you're a returning subscriber and you're still watching my video, thank you so, so much. You guys truly support me every week and I'm so, so appreciative of you all. And if you happen to be visiting my channel because of the collaboration, be sure to let me know in the comment section whose channel you're from. And don't forget to click on our spring collaboration link that's in my description box. Enjoy watching all the videos, my friends, and I'll see you next week. Bye.